Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, coming to you from the tractor we're actually planting. Out planting corn today. It's, um, what is it, May 9th? It's been, uh, was hoping to have been out here planting a week ago, but we had a week's worth of rain, which gave us some much needed moisture. We had, uh, it was pretty spotty. Probably and a half, maybe not quite two inches. Depends on the area. So finally dried out enough here um, that we could start planting. This is the very first field. Not one. We always come back to this. This is always my, it's like four and a half acres. This is the field I always come back and uh, test the planter on. That way it's back over the hill where nobody sees it and uh, the neighbors can't see if I make a mess, but it's, it is what it is. So, Saturday I came out and uh, it's still a little damp. So I went to go do uh, turn on, turn off times Finished, finished a few things, went to do turn on, turn off times on the planter, and we blew a hydraulic line right off the bat, so. Had to, uh, the squealing you hear is my monitor from the uh, point row clutches, but. It, uh, had to get that all apart, and then of course it was late enough that we couldn't go get hoses made. So yeah, he went and did that this morning, and uh, I <clears throat> conned my boss into letting me leave work at 3.30 today, and I came out and put it all back together, and here we go, yeah, planting, so. So far, the monitor is running good, and the clutches are running good. Oops. I'm on my cell phone here. I might have to switch and put my handle on quick. Maybe I'll do that. Hang tight. There we go. Hopefully this external mic will work. If not, I'll be doing voiceovers. Anywho, so I have not had a chance to go turkey hunting yet because it's been too wet. <laughs> Story of my life. But biggest priority right now was the uh, was trying to get the planter going. So I got a little bit of a scratchy voice very windy today and the dust about <clears throat> murdered me so but yeah things are going uh I'll get this planted and um make sure everything's okay I should probably get out once and check my planter depth The old eight row blue meanie behind me. So I got, let's uh, let's get out and do a little walk here.
This ground was worked probably a week ago, probably right before it all started raining. But we'll get down here and I'll dig. He wanted two and a half inches. Or, as the, as the farmer would say, middle knuckle on your see there's plenty of subsoil moisture down there there's the bottom of the trench of course I can never find seeds Yeah, we're that deep. So. I don't know. I'm never very good at finding seeds. It says we're planting, so. I'm gonna get back in. I'm gonna plant for a little bit here and we'll have a, this just could be a quick little video. Just wanna show everybody that I was planting, so. I'll get back with you here in a bit. Okay. Well, this field's all done. Like I said, it's pretty sure I told you. It's just four and a half acres, big enough to uh, check everything out. Um, monitor ran perfect. It came out actually right out at 4.6 acres. So um, for you guys out there that run Kinsey's, you probably see this monitor like, that's not a Kinsey monitor. You're right, it's not. I absolutely hated the Kinsey monitor that came with this thing. It was very unuser friendly. So, um, two, three years ago, Ag Express out in Grand Island, Nebraska here, they sell a changeover monitor. I got this, it's all touchscreen. SFA 16 is what it's called. It does up to 16 rows. So this worked good on this 15 row split row planter. Eight row corn, 15 for beans. Monitor up to 15 rows for soybeans. And the harness is pinned for John Deere, so it runs a John, we had to make a John Deere harness for it. And it runs John Deere seed tube sensors. So, anyways, let's do a little agronomy lesson here. And this is gonna work for you guys doing food plots too. That's why I'm gonna do this. You're gonna ask, why did you till all your ground and why don't you no-till? Two reasons. It has been so cold this spring, we worked all of our ground for the purpose of warming it up. Reason number two, weed control. It has been so windy, so, so windy this spring that our guys at the local co-op who do our spring they have not gotten much spraying done. So we're kind of small potatoes anymore compared to some of the big boys that they need to deal with. We're gonna work all of our, um, we're gonna work all of our uh, corn ground. That way they can, uh, you know, we might do some <clears throat> soybean burn down, but for right now we're doing, um, we're working all of our bean stubble for corn to go into. We set our, planter at two and a half inches deep four notches showing why do we plant it at four inches deep two reasons once again actually this bottom's a little wetter than i thought but anywho two reasons we plant it at two inches deep two and a half inches deep number one brace roots get that get that corn down there in that row 
and it will sink your roots down deeper. Number two, moisture. That's where all the moisture's at. You guys saw in the video earlier, we got, of course we got good subsoil moisture now. Um, oh, if you'd asked me two weeks ago when we hadn't had any rain, we had some guys burying, absolutely burying their row units to probably at least three inches deep. Now that we have rain, they can back them out. <clears throat> Soybeans, we planted about inch and a half to two inches. It, once again, it just depends. It takes longer for corn to come up than beans, so, but you also want the good brace roots. Turn rows, here's another one. How many turn rows do we put on a field? Us here, if we can, we'll do three times around the field, 24 rows. We have a big combine, eight row head, pick the end rows off, that gives us enough to uh, turn around. This field was fertilizer. We had dry fertilizer put on it back in the beginning of March. I don't know the recipe on that. Probably some 103400. No, that's starter fertilizer. 11520 dry fertilizer. I don't know, maybe a little uh, Fosgrove 40. I, I, I don't know. That's another reason he worked the ground too, was to incorporate that. What else do I want to think of here? Yeah, today it was uh, 96 degrees here in eastern Nebraska, so the ground warmed up, will warm up very, very fast. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to think what else I want to explain. The variety we planted was a Pioneer, I don't remember the number, but it's 115 day corn. There's places he still likes his, his long season corn. I'm kind of gotten to be a believer of the 100, 100, 105, 107 day corn. It does just as good. Oh, speaking of that, population. We plant about 30,100 population. Why do you ask that? Some guys plant 32,000, some guys plant 28,000. We used to plant 29,000. We have done very scientific studies when we miscommunicate and um, set the planter wrong. That really for us, 32,000, that's kind of wasting seed. This year we're planted at 30,000. I have a set at 30,100. And it's coming out around, around the monitor said 29,800. Good enough. Take 10% off for germ. We're going to plant around 29,000. There's one year I screwed up and missed, set the planter and I planted 50 acres at 26,000. By the time he figured it out and reset it and he planted the rest of everything at 29,000, um, there was no yield difference. So. 32,000, our personal belief is, is that you're wasting seed, but seed dealers got to make money too. That's just our, that's just what we think. So anywho, if you have any other questions, go ahead and feel free to ask me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I'm getting a little long in the tooth, so I will get more hunting videos up here soon, as soon as I can. Planting is my number one priority right now. I'll 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 get to the uh, to the wild buzzards here, turkeys. As soon as I get him up and going planting. So don't forget if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you.